The popularity of the show is unreal. I mean, you look at, just look at TV right now, look at horror-based television. Walking Dead is pulling in 13 to 14 million viewers a week. It is, a, it is an entity unto itself that will probably not be replicated in, in, a, in a horror genre. My mom watches Walking Dead. That's a big deal. I heard that it was a need to bring it back. Okay, how do we do it differently? How do we make it bigger? How do we expand that brand? And doing the maze solely in season three, you've got Woodbury aesthetics, prison aesthetics. That particular house is based on season three, so we did, you know, we brought that level. There's a lot more, you know, if you watch the show, uh, in the beginning they're not quite, they're not quite as rotted and as you get further in, so we, we did the same thing. But then in the street program, with the opportunity to do something we haven't done before, which is take an IP brand, I mean, IP in general in the streets is, is a rarity in our event. And expanding that into portions of our, of our property, putting you in Atlanta, putting you in at Herschel's Farm, putting you at the, the survivor's camp. We went into this knowing all three seasons and knowing what we wanted to recreate. All of us are big fans of The Walking Dead, so we had in our mind the perfect places that we could recreate Atlanta. New York is the perfect landscape for that. We knew we wanted a tank. I mean, we went we went down the path of trying to get a real tank, and that didn't quite work, so we built our own tank. It's beautiful. Um, we know we wanted to recreate the scene um, where the barn catches on fire at the end of season two. Um, the the perfect place for us to do that is in the Mel's Corner where years ago we re we created the uh, little uh, schoolhouse and it was a walkthrough experience and that's exactly what we wanted to do with the barn. Um, we've recreated camp from season one with the RV um, with other little things that are you're just going to absolutely love. Behind me we have walker traps. This is representative of the clear episode in season three. We have sound effects pumped into each one of these little cages so you're going to hear these animal sounds again to train and then training our walkers to walk right into the walker traps just like on the episode. We're going to do uh, full face masks that are custom made, um, makeup and uh, prosthetics which is like where we're doing a demo right here. It'll be si uh, silicone prosthetics that will be blended to the actor's face to create wounds and teeth and gashes and bite marks and things like that. We've worked side by side with everyone at AMC and they've been wonderful. Um, it's just been a great experience for us. I totally think that we are going to do something new every single year. We're already thinking about next year and the new inventions that we can create and new ideas that we can do on the streets. I think it's definitely something that we're looking forward to the years to come.